have not one but two ISO builds to show today that I found at 2K Community Day. We will have two tall ISO builds, one shorter that's way faster, gets more dribble moves, and one taller that's bigger, stronger, with a little more defense. So no matter what you prefer, you will definitely like one of these builds, or maybe base your build off of one of these builds. So hopefully I can help you get one step closer to your first build of NBA 2K24. So subscribe to the channel for more 2K24 videos and live streams, and drop a like for more build videos for locks, centers, guards, and more, and let's get started. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger, man, and we got y'all with the ISO builds in today's video. This is what I specialize in, and I'm going to make an ISO build to start 2K24. So two things before we get into these builds. One, the animation and badge requirements we were given at Community Day when we were recording and making these builds are different than the ones that they finalized and made public to the community. So if you're going to make one of these builds when 2K24 comes out, make sure you check the badge requirements and animation requirements and maybe adjust some of these attributes by one or two ticks to save or spend more to get your build min maxed more for the, you know, the right caps of attributes, badges, and animations. And number two thing to note, is it's really hard for anyone on YouTube to post a best build right now. Like, it's probably not going to be a best build because we don't know the animations that are good in the game yet. We don't know the quote-unquote meta. So there might be, like, a Kevin Durant dribble move at 80 ball handle that's actually really good that we don't know about. And maybe we don't like any of the other dribble moves above 80 and we're fine with the 80 oh, now we can lower a ball handle to an 80 and spend our attributes elsewhere. You know what I'm saying? So we can't really min-max our builds to the best of their abilities right now until we play the game for at least a couple weeks or a month, especially with all the new pro play animations they added because there's going to be like a hundreds and hundreds of new animations for 2K24 that we're going to need to not only learn, see, and adjust to. But we can definitely make some good calculated builds based on what we know about badges, animations, stats, the builder, just all that good stuff. Up. And the last thing I want to point out really quick is yesterday 2K announced affiliations. There's two affiliations. There's Elite and Rise. And Rise is going to go ahead and give you finishing and playmaking boost. And Elite is going to give you shooting and defensive boost. Now, they haven't told us whether these are just going to be percentages, like kind of like boost at the boost stand, or if they're going to be attributes that actually increase our attributes and whether those attributes are going to affect our badges and animations. But hopefully we hear news from that soon because that could also affect these builds. So starting with our ISO build, I'm going to go point guard. It doesn't really matter what position you go with just know the min maxes for your height weight and wingspan will differ depending on what position you do choose but i'm gonna go with point guard now the heights i would recommend for iso builds is somewhere between 6'5 and 6'8 i would not go 6'9 i feel like that's too tall another one i would not go with is 6'7 and i'm gonna tell you more later on in the video but 6'7 is that in between range of 6'6 and 6'8 the two heights that i think i would recommend the most and you're gonna see more later in this video why i would not recommend 6'7 but anyways the first build i'm gonna make is 6'8 iso build and the second build i'm gonna make is a 6'6 so the 6-8 is going to be more of like a stronger ISO build that can bully people and is going to have a little more interior defense. And the 6-6 is going to be more of an ISO build that's a lot faster, that's going to sacrifice some of its interior defense to be faster and unlock more dribble moves. So anyways, I went with 6-8 and I put up the weight until I got 86 strength because at Community Day, Bulldozer Silver was at an 86 strength. But since they announced the bad is they adjusted it and now Bulldozer is only 84 strength at Silver. So when you do make this 6'8", you only need to go to an 84 strength. So you can put the weight lower than 224 pounds. At Community Day, I had it at 224 pounds. But you could probably go even lower than this, which means your acceleration, speed, ball handle, and maybe a couple other stats will actually go up now that we know that you only need an 84 strength. Now with wingspan, I want to have max wingspan. I feel like a lot of people in 2K24 are not going to have max wingspan because it definitely affects your three-pointer negatively a lot. But with builds in 2K24, we're, you're going to have to sacrifice something in the builder, and we're going to be sacrificing a little bit of our three-pointer to be elite in other categories. I'm confident that I can shoot with a 78-something three-pointer in 2K24, and as long as you're confident with that too, then I think we should be fine. I mean, people like me and other 2Ks have shot consistent with a 65 three-pointer, so a 78 is going to be 
too easy for me that's that's good enough so we're gonna go max wingspan to increase a bunch of good defensive stats make our players just more lengthy in general and in most 2ks people just max their wingspan regardless but maxing wingspan is gonna be more of a rare thing in 2k24 so it's definitely gonna be a big advantage in 2k24 so yeah max wingspan 224 pounds 68 point guard you can obviously go lower weight for that 84 strength keep that in mind so we're gonna go ahead and continue and now we're looking at the details with the attributes and the bad is now if you guys don't know how this build system works pause this video and go watch my builder breakdown video i tell you guys everything about the builder how everything works okay so if you have any questions just go watch that video but anyways the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is upgrade my driving dunk now there are contact dunk animations that i did talk about in my uh builder breakdown video but there are contact dunks that are unlocked at 85 86 87 89 93 95 96 dunk or something like that but we're gonna go for the animations that unlock at 89 dunk but as you can see with precision dunker you get gold at 90 driving dunk so we're gonna go up one more for precision dunker which is gonna let us green more shots with the dunk meter and the dunk meter is green or miss this year so we're gonna go with a 90 driving dunk that's gonna allow us to unlock multiple contact dunks and gold precision dunker now we're gonna go with the three pointer and 76 is pretty solid but we want to go with 78 to get that silver green machine and i think a 78 three pointer is going to be more than enough to shoot the ball in 2k24 you know obviously we're not going to be shooting any contested stuff we're not going to be fading off our back leg or anything but we're going to be able to shoot the ball especially you can choose any takeover in 2k24 so if we're using sharp takeover i mean dude we're going to have an 88 three-pointer in takeover because it gives plus 10 so i think we should be fine with that now it's time for the ball handle with this 68 um keep in mind that green bar that's going up in the bag is uh the higher it goes the higher your overall is going so the highest uh ball handle we go is 85 which is pretty solid okay now we still need to upgrade some other things for some other uh playing badges that we're going to get here uh that have to do with strength and stuff they see we were to get gold ankle burger and if you watch my gameplay video stephen curry had gold ankle burger and he was breaking ankles with no takeover so this 6 8 already off the rip is gonna be able to shoot can get contact dunks and gold precision dunker and is gonna be able to break ankles and unlock all the drill moves up to 85 ball handle which is a lot of drill moves in 2k24 with the pro play stuff so next thing that we do is start to try to get at least silver speed booster and speed booster is affected by speed with ball ball handle uh, acceleration and speed so we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our speed with ball and we're gonna upgrade that to a 76 speed with ball actually a 75 speed with ball for now oh uh, we might be able to put up to a 76 we also need a good pass accuracy because we don't want to be throwing bad passes so i'm going to put it pass accuracy to a 75 which is going to give us some uh passing styles uh if they keep the animation requirements the same we should unlock like john moran demontis bonus uh passing styles but we're also going to get blocked now this is one of the attributes that this 66 is not gonna have uh you're gonna realize when you get into this builder that all builds like six seven and below just can't have good interior defense or block ratings i don't know why that is and this is a huge advantage with the six eight is you're gonna be able to defend the paint very well with an 87 block we're also gonna put up our steel and we bro interceptor right stick river glove all great great bad is we put our steel to an 85 perimeter defense to an 87 which is going to give us gold challenger and silver clamps and a couple other great defensive badges interior defense is already at a 72 and block is at an 87 so we're going to unlock that silver anchor which is going to be huge bro a lot of these iso builds are just not going to have anchor they're not going to have good blocking or interior defense uh going down to the physicals we're going to max that speed and max that acceleration our acceleration speed is going to be uh, lower than a lot of the iso builds but we're going to have the strength and we're going to have the good defensive stats and that's why we're also going to show a 6x option as well but as you can see we're going to max our strength to an 86 now on the version that you guys are going to make i would go 84 strength just to meet that exact threshold for silver for silver bulldozer unless there's some badges that i'm not aware of at the point that at this point that give badge tier at 85 or 86 strength but look at we get hall of fame physical handles y'all that is insane look at these badges we are getting with strength bronze fearless finisher silver bulldozer which is the badge where you throw people out the way physical handles hall of fame bro lessens the chance of being bothered by defenders of the perimeter wall dribbling bro lockdowns are not going to be able to handle this build hall of fame physical handles bro i'm telling you the badge is gonna be insane we also get good defensive badges like bronze post lockdown and silver immovable force which improves a defensive player's strength when defending ball handlers and finishers we also get silver brick wall which is good for guarding post scores and setting screens i don't think we're going to be setting screens on this build 
but it's going to be harder for people to back us down in the post. We're also going to put up our vertical, which is going to allow us to get silver posterizer, silver chase down artist, gold aerial wizard, and even silver pogo stick. And of course, some of those contact dunk animations. So we're going to put it to a 78 vertical. And then we also have the stamina being upgraded. Uh, we do can't get gold handles for days because we don't have a high enough ball handle, but we get 94 feet silver, silver workhorse and silver handles for days there's a lot of baddies that you're seeing on your screen that we're gonna get silver bro and that's what's so great about this build it basically gets all the a very important baddies at silver and a lot of underrated good baddies at gold and hall of fame and even baddies that you know are good that are lower on our stats like a 78 three-pointer we're still getting bronze that i bronze you know blinders we're still getting some of those badge requirements now this build does not get limitless range but I'm telling you, bro, you get to choose your takeover, bro. We're going to have sharp takeover. That's going to give a plus 10 to all of our shooting stats when we're in takeover. I'm telling you, this build is crazy, bro. It has insanely good defense. Now, a lot of you guys are probably used to the 2K23 builder. So you might be looking at this build like, oh, this is trash. Not that good. Trust me. Out of all the builds I was looking at, at 2K24, this might be the build I go with. Obviously, with some adjustments based on the new badge requirements and animation requirements they released, which is in my builder breakdown video. But yeah, I mean, obviously there's going to be holes in builds, bro. Um, and we can upload, you see, we upgraded our vertical to an 80. Now we get gold chase down artist and our stamina to a 96 to finish out the build. But look at this build in the background. I'm going to be showing some of the badges we get, but bro, 90 driving dunk for those contacts, 78 three pointer. If you activate sharp take, and by the way, you, you have access to all the takeovers, whether it's finishing, shooting, playmaking, defense, and physicals takeover. But yeah, you're going to have it plus 10 to your shooting stats if you activate sharp take. That's an 88 three-pointer and take over 78 without. That's perfect. Look at the playmaking. 75 pass IRC is going to unlock us some passing styles. 75 speed of ball. That's going to give us some dribble styles. Ball handle 85. We're going to unlock a bunch of dribble moves with that. And we get gold ankle burger with that. Look at the defense. Then tier defense of the block. You guys are probably looking at right now like, oh, that's not that good. Bro, for guards, that is insane. That is literally insane. That is elite four guards in 2k24 we also have a good perimeter defense and steel giving us a lot of steel badges really the only downside about this build is it might be slower than some builds with the 73 acceleration everything else about this good build is good i mean yeah you don't have rebounding yeah you can complain about the close shot maybe the standing dunk maybe the mid-range maybe just complain about the driving layup but bro, there's going to be holes in every build in 2K24, I'm telling you. And this is one of the best all-around ISO builds you're going to see all year long. And maybe the best all-around ISO build in, in, until we find another loophole. But yes, there's only 16 badges grayed out here, bro. Most of the badges that you can get on a build, we have here. And look at this build comes out to be a defensive menace compared to Lonzo Ball, Tyrese Al Halliburton, and Drew Holiday. This is personally my favorite build I saw when in the builder. And I'm thinking this is going to be my build for 2K24 with just some minor adjustments to some of the stats, like maybe like minus two, plus one, plus two here and there. Uh, but yeah, otherwise, this is my build. Let me know in the comments your honest opinions on this build. But for my play style, this is a good build for me. You guys saw holes in the mid range and stuff. I don't really shoot mid ranges. And when I do, I can hit them with a 30 mid ranges. I never upgraded it in 2K23 and I could still hit driving layup i'm not gonna be going up with a lot of layups bro i'm gonna be forcing the dunk meter i'm gonna be dunking the ball a lot and i still have a 70 which is not bad close shot i'm not really in the paint doing standing layups and stuff i don't do standing dunks either and i'm not playing big or anything so the rebounding doesn't bother me either i'm already 6 8 with max wingspan i'm gonna be out rebounding most of the other guards because how the 2k24 build system is people aren't going to be upgrading their rebound as a guard at least most people so yeah i'm very confident in this build let me know what you guys think and let's move on to the next build all right now we're moving on to the next iso build so obviously you guys saw in the first iso build a lot of silver badges a couple hall of fame a couple good gold badges a lot of good bronze shooting badges as well this build is going to be faster than the last build it's not going to have strength though but it's going to be faster it's going to unlock more drill moves and it's going to have a higher ball handle and it's going to be shorter with max wingspan so we're going to go six six with this iso build now you're probably wondering why not six seven Bro, 6'7 is literally just a worse version of the 6'8. It's, it's not too much faster than the 6'8 to the point where it's worth doing. And the stats just aren't different enough to the point where it's an advantage. You may as well just go 6'8. So that's why 6'6 six, six is better than 6'7. Six, and that's why 6'6 six, six and 6'8 six, are just better. Because if you want to be faster, just go 6'6. Six, six. If you want to be taller, you may as well go 6'8. The 6'7 six, is kind of like the worst of the two. It's kind of like in the middle of the pack where it doesn't have that big enough of advantage to be faster, nor that big enough advantage to be 
stronger and more defensive in the paint. So we're gonna go 6'6", six, six, max wingspan, minimum weight. Um, you're gonna see acceleration max and speed on uh, the ball handle max is just way higher than the 6'8 build. So if you do wanna be faster, if you do wanna get gold speed booster instead of silver speed booster, uh, then this is gonna be the build you're gonna wanna go with, especially if you're not confident in strength being a thing in 2K24 this is going to be the iso build you go with now the first thing we're going to do is upgrade our three-pointer to a 78 this build is going to have the same three-pointer as the last now if you're not confident with a 78 three-pointer you could probably adjust this build a little bit and upgrade the three more because it does have a, a bigger max three but to be honest for me i was thinking i was going to go into 2k24 with like a 65 three-pointer so a 78 is way more than good enough for me a lot of y'all are used to just having these high three-pointers Bro, and so a lot of the 2Ks, I'm used to having like a 65 three-pointer. Anyways, 92 ball handle, so we can get that gold speed booster. We're also going to upgrade our speed with ball to an 83, just to work to that, to that gold speed booster a little more. We just need to upgrade our acceleration and speed at this point. And then we're going to put our pass accuracy up. To be honest, I don't know what the best pass accuracy is because we don't know what the good pass styles are yet um, in 2K24 at least. The dunk, we're going with a 90 dunk again for that precision dunker, gold, and for those contact dunks. Perimeter defense, going to 87 again. Steel, going to an 85 again. So we get silver right stick lip rippers, silver interceptor, and silver glove. Now, this is the problem with these 6-7 and blow builds, man. Like, for especially 6-6 six, six and 6-6 six, six and blow builds don't get anchor. I mean, look at the interior defense of the block, man. That's that's why I think I like the 6-8 a little more. But we're upgrading the acceleration. We're upgrading the speed in the vertical to 78 for those dunks. Getting that stamina up a little bit as well. We're going to be able to get gold handle for days on this build. As you can see, it needs a 91 ball handle and 96 stamina. I upgrade that uh, later on. But yeah, look at the interior finisher or the interior defense in the block, man. It's just it's just not there on 6-6 six, six builds. You don't get anchor. You don't really get any interior defensive badges or stats. And even if you go 6-7, you, you do get anchor. But the bat, the stats at block and tier defense are just not good, which is really just convincing me with the 6-8. Now, as you can see right here, these were the final stats I went with. Now, do not make the final stats like this. I don't know why I didn't notice this, but make sure you get your stamina to a 96. So if you have to lower like the pass accuracy to a 76 to do that, whatever you need to do, make sure you get your stamina to a 96 because I forgot about that and didn't get gold handles for days. I only got silver because of that. But anyways, let's act like we did that. We got gold handles for days. Uh, you get gold hyper drive. You get gold challenger. You get gold ankle breaker. You get gold off ball pass. Gold slippery off ball. Gold pro touch. Gold aerial wizard. Gold unpluckable. Gold speed booster. You get a lot of good badges here. You know, the same shooting badges, the same finishing badges as the 6 8. The only difference here is we just get better playmaking badges, way more animations with the drill moves because we have a 92 ball handle now. So we're going to get all those drool moves that we get at 90 plus ball handle 88 ball handle and stuff like that our drool moves in general are probably just gonna be faster because we have an 87 acceleration on this build now the speed is basically the same 82 speed yeah it, it's really just trading off the interior defense and the blocking for a faster build and more drill move unlocks that's really just what you have to decide now obviously i would recommend adjusting these two iso builds to your liking your play style but these are great bases to go off of if you want to make an iso build in 2k24 if you want to make an nba template build uh paul george and, and jimmy butler were probably the best nba template builds when it comes to iso builds and as you can see this build comes out to be a two-way floor spacing slasher Heard of Lonzo Ball, Steve Francis, Tyrese Halliburton. Now I'm just going to show some random clips in the background of a couple of these ISO builds. Both of these were with a 78.3. Now let me know in the comments, which one do you think is better? What adjustments did you notice that I made a mistake on that I should adjust going into 2K24 to make the build even better besides the stamina on the second build and the strength on the first build? And yeah, drop a like for more build videos. I got locks, I got guards, I got centers. I got a bunch of other stuff to put out there to help you guys get closer to making your 2K24 build. And I'm sure we'll probably find some even better builds once we get our hands on the game and once we get used to all the animations and learn about what animations are good and bad a month into the game and make sure you're subscribed to the channel a bunch of 2k24 content on the way and live streams and go watch that builder breakdown if you haven't already it's video boy henry aka double h and i'm out y'all peace